Want to know the latest important XRP news? Is it interesting to know the latest statements of Davide Shavartza? Then, stay on this video and we're getting started. Ripple's general counsel, Stuart Alderodi, has said publicly that the blockchain firm would immediately appeal its lawsuit against the sex in the event that Judge Annalisa Torres rules in favor of the regulator in her summary judgment decision. Yesterday, in an interview with Blockworks, Alderodi revealed this information to us. According to Ripple's general counsel, there are three different scenarios that might occur in the ongoing legal battle with the SEC. The outspoken general counsel claims that it is possible for Judge Torres to rule in favor of Ripple in the summary judgment proceeding. Second, he said that the judge has the ability to determine that there are contested facts, which will be addressed over the course of the trial. Alderodi said in his third point that Judge Torres could decide to rule in favor of the Securities and Exchange Commission if he decides to give summary judgment. In the event that this transpires, the General Counsel for Ripple has said that the Silicon Valley technology business would not accept a victory for the SEC and will instead immediately challenge the matter before the U.S. Courts of Appeals. In addition, according to Alderodi, Ripple is planning to take the issue all the way up to the Supreme Court if the Court of Appeals does not rule in favor of the blockchain business. The members of the XURP community gained confidence as a result of his assurance that Ripple will prevail in the lawsuit before the Supreme Court. Alderodi predicts that the Supreme Court will find in favor of Ripple because to the safeguard it provides against the establishment of an administrative state. According to Alderodi, I would be very convinced that this is a victory at the Supreme Court. Not so much because of crypto problems, but more because of the guarding against developing an administrative state. Itation needed it. In addition, the general counsel for Ripple has indicated that the much-anticipated summary judgment may take place before the month is out. Because of the lack of clarity over how regulations will be implemented, Alderodi recommends that new cryptocurrency ventures do not start in the United States. According to Alderodi, these new cryptocurrency initiatives have to be launched in a country that has developed laws that are applicable to the business. New crypto firms should go to a country where the regulations are clear, not light. Touch, but explicit, he added. New crypto businesses should move to a jurisdiction where the rules are clear. Because of this animosity, a number of crypto firms are mulling about the possibility of leaving the United States. According to a story from the previous month, Ripple Kyoto David Schwartz dropped a hint that the business would leave the U.S. if it is put in a position where it has no other option. In a recent interview with Bloomberg, Ripple's chief executive officer Brad Garlinghouse gave his support to Schwartz's statement. According to Garlinghouse, Cryptocurrency firms are already moving out of the United States because of the country's failure to get its act together. He continued by saying that us crypto enterprises that operate abroad are not appropriate for the creativity of the nation. In the Ripple and Securities Exchange Commission SEC case, both sides have filed their closing briefs and are now awaiting summary judgment. But questions remain about the scope of the regulator's authority to exercise oversight in the cryptocurrency industry and the necessity of unsealing key documents. On February 27, Deaton tweeted that opinions vary on how to classify securities. In response to a comment by MicroStrategy, Executive Chairman Michael Saylor, who said that Gensler's comments show that agreement is growing on the categorization of securities, he made the above statement. While waiting for the summary ruling, Deaton had already discussed alternative settlement solutions for both sides. If the regulator determines that current and future XARP sales do not qualify as securities, Ripple, according Deaton, would pay a settlement of $100, $250 million. He did warn that the sex's recent assault on the crypto industry made it unlikely that they would approve of the strategy. Deaton said that the presiding judge might explain secondary extra PA sales. It's worth mentioning that Ripple's general counsel, Stuart Alderodi, has already hinted that the sex has very little prospects of winning the case at the Supreme Court. In response to the sex's bullying and adhering to stretch legal arguments that were not loyal to the law, the few that had the bravery and resources to fight back against the sex's bullying have resulted in four of the sex's past five cases being lost in the Supreme Court. He stated, 
As was previously reported, the issue was given fresh life when journalist Roslyn Layton filed a request to get access to the Hinman speech paper. This June 2018 lecture by the SEC's former director of the Division of Corporate Finance may provide a good illustration of the agency's classification of securities. It's possible that XARP may be treated the same way as Ethereum, ETH, and Bitcoin, which Hyman pointed out are not securities. In a separate case, defense attorney James Filan disclosed progress in a class action lawsuit filed against Ripple in 2018. Investors in XARP filed suit against the firm and its CEO. Brad Garlinghouse in California, demanding compensation for financial losses sustained as a result of the sale of XRP as an unregistered security. They're asking the court to rule XRP security. It was reported by Fit Von Bol that Deaton had submitted a motion to intervene in the case as an amicus brief. The plaintiffs had submitted a new motion objecting to Deaton's request to join the case. Ripple's Clo, Stuart Alderodi has urged that Gary Gensler should step out from any further categorization of cryptocurrency decision-making. According to the attorney, Gensler's future conclusions are suspect because of a recent interview in which the head of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission said that all cryptocurrencies except Bitcoin were securities. For the second time, Chair Gensler has declared that all cryptocurrencies are unregistered securities, with Bitcoin being the only exception. As he has already made up his mind on the result, Stewart tweeted he must now disqualify himself from voting on any enforcement case involving that subject. Gensler implied that all other cryptocurrencies were securities in a wide-ranging interview with New York Magazine published on February 23. He argued that this was the case because there's a group in the middle and the public is anticipating profits based on that group, based on that group, which was not the case with Bitcoin. However, his comments were misunderstood to imply that all crypto assets other than Bitcoin were within the sex's purview, and he received severe condemnation from the crypto community as a result. Attorney and Blockchain Association Policy lead Jake Chervinsky tweeted that Gensler may have prejudged that every digital asset apart from Bitcoin is a security, and that unless the CEC establishes its case in court, it lacks the jurisdiction to regulate other cryptocurrencies. In addition, the attorney stressed that Gensler's opinion is not the law, despite the commissioner's claims of supreme control over the Bitcoin market. XARP supporters are still waiting for the court to rule on whether or not the cryptocurrency should be classified as a security, despite the fact that the years long litigation against Ripple is drawn to a conclusion. It's worth noting that although the case's ultimate conclusion is still up for debate, Many other judicial decisions involving essentially identical fact patterns have provided some indication of what could happen here. As an example, in March 2021, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Elbri, a blockchain-based sharing platform for selling its LBC tokens without first registering them with the SEC. A judge on the Court of Appeals recently decided that LBC tokens are not securities until they are sold in the main sale. If Ripple can persuade the court that, like Elbri, it never officially had an initial coin offering. The outcome may be favorable. If Ripple prevails, XRP may be relisted on major cryptocurrency trading platforms like Coinbase and Binance, US, which would be a huge boon to the coin's value.